Welcome to Baller or Bust, where we test FIFA cards so you don't have to. Today, we've got ourselves Luke De Jong. We got him via SBC for 80,000 coins. At first glance, I just thought this was another tall striker. I thought it was going to be like Abraham, like Gomez, you know, just one of those kind of tall cards. Play, they all play the same, it feels like. Well, this guy was different. Looking at his stats, four-star skills, five-star weak foot, medium-medium work rates. I put an engine chem style on him. This is important. I think engine is by far the best one. Engine boosts him to 92 acceleration, 99 sprint speed. Boosts his agility and balance to 85 and 91. Boosts his dribbling to 91. And then boosts his passing to 94 short passing, 86 vision, uh, 84 long passing. You know, some really nice boosts. This is the squad we used him in. We played a 4-2-3-1 in game. He was our striker. We actually got our best weekend league finish of the year using this squad. We went 18-2 and somehow with the cheapest team I've used in like six months probably. Because I got 13 wins on my main account. We got 18 with this team, which is pretty crazy. Moving on. We'll start with this. He's definitely He definitely isn't like every other tall striker in this game. With those med med work rates... He plays a lot more like a false nine, a playmaking striker, than he does as like a pure, you know, through ball, just finish chances type of striker. He likes to get involved in the build up. Sometimes I found him sitting lower than my attacking mid, who was Tadic. I found him sitting lower than Tadic. Tadic was kind of stepping up into the striker role. They were kind of switching on and off who was the striker and who was the cam, just themselves, which was kind of cool. Dayong's hold of play was actually really good. He's got 93 strength, so it's super hard to get the ball off of him. And he's got 99 positioning, so he, you know, he was always finding himself in a little bit of space. He was finding a gap, or he was making a really good run. With those med meta work rates, you kind of the, the opponent didn't really know what was coming. He wasn't always getting a through ball. He wasn't always making a run. Sometimes he was coming back and just hanging out in the midfield. He's kind of you know inconsistent, but in a good way, where he's not doing the same thing every time. He's kind of a creative player in terms of his AI and where he is in terms of position because he's got 99 positioning of course 95 shot power with nine or 99 shot power with 95 finishing and 99 volleys super good finishing he's got five star weak foot as well so he can finish on both feet the same no shooting traits so no outside the boot no finesse just purely striking the ball and he was good at it he you got to get used to his power a little bit. Sometimes he, he rockets it over the bar if you put too much power because he's got 99 shot power. But besides that, yeah, his finishing was great. He was able to beat defenders and just fire home crossbody, I think, was his best shooting style. Passing, he's got 94 passing. His passing is nothing special, but it's definitely good enough for the role he plays. He likes to, like I said, he likes to be a creator. He, him and Tadic like to play a lot of one-twos. At least they set themselves up for one-twos. Obviously, I was the one controlling that, but you know what I mean. His finishing was just pure. His passing was pure. His positioning's pure. Everything's pure about this card. It was. Just, I'm like mind blown by how good this card was, compared to what my expectations was were. His physicality, we already talked about a little bit, but 96 jumping, 90 stamina, 93 strength. It's hard to get a, the ball off a guy that's got 93 strength, and it's hard to get the ball off of him. He's also got 99 heading accuracy. I'm not one to really cross the ball in or anything like that, so I really didn't even ever get a header with him, I don't think. But if you're a guy that loves headers, he's got 99 heading and 96 jumping, and he's 6'2", so he could be good at that as well. But yeah, this card was great. Blew my mind in terms of expectations. Definitely a complete.